One of the most rewarding bits about being an environmental water manager is working closely with First Nations groups. I've been working the Nari Nari Tribal Council, managing deliveries of water for the environment in the Guyani wetland system. You can sort of feel, feel the country changing as the water comes down and you can hear the country start to talk and you sort of start to get the feel that the natural bird life and, and whatever else is starting to come back in. It's alive, it's well, it's healing, it's been enhanced. And as we stand here, you can hear nothing but noise, so if your country talking, it's healthy. So when the environmental water comes through the system into Muckham Creek, also flow in through into Yanga, into the National Park, and which sort of creates one big ecosystem for things such as yellow belly and bell frog and yabby life. The overbanking, it's what used to happen, it's what, well, in my book, should happen into the future. These higher flows, they don't just bring life, like environmental outcomes, but they bring our cultural connection back to country as well. Pretty awesome to sort of live out here and live on the creek and get this water to enhance the environment. As environmental water managers, we work very closely with First Nations groups like the Muddy Muddy, Nari Nari and Wiradjuri people. Connecting back with, with our ancestors out here, that used to be here thousands of years ago too. It's healing, it's healing everything, you know. It's not only the river and the landscape, it's healing the people too. This has been flooding for thousands and thousands of years. The environment order is, is probably the most important thing along this river system. <laughs>